Hi everyone! So today I thought I will compare the Lamy Fine and the Extra Fine because when I was buying my first um, Lamy pen, this one was this. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it might have been. Um, it might be a limited edition. It's a matte kind of black, and I really like that look, so I went for it. And um, so this one is the fine nib, and that's what it looks like. And then. Um, when I was ordering, I actually didn't check to see whether there is a an even finer nib, which is this one. It's an extra fine. So when I bought it, I just thought that is it, and I um, I love writing with it. It's it feels really sort of good with my handwriting. But um, having said that, I wish it was thinner because I do like to illustrate as well. And although really the ink that I'm using is the Lamy ink in black and it's not waterproof so it does kind of um, feather if I go over um, dry watercolor I find so um, it kind of makes it spread even though the watercolor is completely dry but if I for example do a line on um, clean paper and then next to it there will be a patch of dry watercolor, I will see a big difference of sort of the um, ink for some reason just starting to feather and look, the line starts to look a lot thicker on the watercolor than it is on the plain paper. Um, so well, I guess when I was buying them, I was thinking to illustrate with them. However, um, I appreciate their quality and I appreciate their um, um, nibs <laughs> and so I kind of feel a little bit um, I don't know apprehensive about sort of using them for um, or on top of gesso or sort of different mixed medias just, just to not um, kind of break the nib so here is the extra fine nib and it's a white kind of glossy finish of the pen and then a silver, beautiful silver looking um, nib and if I compare them side by side hopefully you can pick up um, on the fact that the black has a little um, bigger kind of round tip and the extra fine has a smaller hardly visible tip again I hope you can see it from the side right there so what I'm going to try and do is do a little comparison for you in case you didn't know that there is an extra fine or in case you are um, wanting to buy a Lamy pan and you are not certain whether you should go for a fine or extra fine um, now the plan was I also bought I've mentioned this before I have bought this converter for Lamy and the plan was that I will use my noodles ink which is meant to be waterproof and to some extent it is but it's not 100% waterproof so it does have some sort of reaction and um, so the idea was that I will use put the, put the ink into converter and use it in my Lamy pan, but I kind of had second thoughts because the noodler ink is a little bit thicker than Lamy ink. Lamy ink is very kind of, I don't want to say watery, but it's sort of very fluid like. It's more, um, well, it's more, it kind of, it's less, it's thinner um, than the noodler ink in texture, I'd say. And um, so I'm a little bit apprehensive whether I would block up the nib or do anything to this pan because it's brand new. I kind of want to at least use one of the Lamy ink cartridges first before I um, kind of embark <laughs> on the noodler ink in that pan. So, but uh, in case you're also interested of how to use this, I will do a separate video. Um, when I'm um, ready to 
um, put the other ink into this pan. So, um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the first pan that I bought, which is the fine nib, and I'm going to um, do an illustration on one half of this page. Uh, this page is plain, it doesn't have anything on either side because I didn't want sort of to have the warping situation on this side and kind of the ink not looking kind of straight. So I'm going to go on the plain page and I'm going to do one with this list, um, illustration of this pen and sort of a very similar illustration um, next to it with this pen. So hopefully you can then pick up on the differences um, of the um, Lamy of, um, nip sizes. It's very kind of close in terms of the thickness. I was thinking I would notice it even more, but for sure, when you're looking into um, onto details, it is definitely a thicker line. So if you compare the line on the arm here to here, it's it's noticeably thicker. Um, honestly, I wish that the extra fine was tiny little bit finer um, but um, it is what it is now in terms of um, writing when I'm writing with this pen with the fine nib I find that I need to wait so for example if I'm writing a journal and I wrote a whole page of um, text before I kind of flip it and start writing on the next page, I need to wait a little bit because if I do that straight away, uh, the ink will kind of print onto the um, opposite page, which, you know, can create a bit of a mess. If you're a perfectionist, you will be definitely annoyed by that. So do you give it a little bit of time to um, just dry it and keep in mind? Um, so in terms of this pen, I haven't tried that for writing yet but I can do it now, um, just a little test. So I'm going to write out the nib size here and then flip the page and press on it and see what happens and do the same with the other one. So so you can see what happens there. And, you know, um, because it's a thicker nib than the extra fine, obviously more ink comes out and therefore the line is going to be thicker and um, you kind of would expect that in a way and, or, or not necessarily expect that, it depends from how fast the ink dries as well, but I would expect from the extra fine nib that there is less ink, the line is thinner and therefore it should be 
it shouldn't do this but let's see how that goes so I'm just going to um, zoom out so I can show you I can see it's still wet so it's going to do probably the same thing yeah so it's done that but less so that means you would still need to wait and you would need probably to wait less time but let me try something different let me try um, let me try this so I'm going to wait a little bit say a few seconds and see how it goes now so it has done that over here a lot less as you can see and now I'm going to do the same with this pan here I'd say that's probably about the same time okay so it's still done that but again a lot less than this so I hope you can see oop, I hope you can see the difference here so this is the um, extra fine and this is the lamy fine so yeah um, so I hope you can see difference in writing as well it does appear finer than this one this is a thicker line so yeah um, I you know I love Lamy pants and I adore both of them so definitely um, I think for like illustrative post, uh, purpose I prefer this one of course because it's thinner so it gives you more kind of detail like I mean this was super quick um, but on the face you can see that with the fine nib it becomes a little bit too busy because the the line is too thick um, but here um, obviously it's thinner and so yeah um, I hope you found this useful and um, I hope it helps you kind of to pick your mind which pen you prefer um, this pen as well it feels um, the extra fine nib it feels smoother when you're writing so I find that the fine nib has um, you feel like it grips to the paper slightly more when you're writing you, you kind of almost feel the texture of the paper whereas with this one it feels like writing on sort of with butter it feels super smooth um, quite honestly I love writing with this one I love um, I started well I didn't start but I'm writing my um, son's diary and I haven't written it for, for a while and um, I got back into it and I started writing a lot like you know page after page page after page and I kind of had to adopt my handwriting slightly to be really loving um, how it looks with this um, pen and yeah it's it kind of it's it's joy to write with you don't get tired it kind of feels very um, it's a very different experience to write with to writing with um, ballpoint anyway but um, yeah so either way illustration or writing um, these pens are great thanks for watching see you soon